Oh, sure. Well, let's go. <laughs> so, all right. Metalheads, this is DJ Rem, and I have Diego from the band Trace. These guys are from Brazil. They're killer. They rock. How are you? <laughs> yeah, it's good to be here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the, the interview. It's, uh, it's our pleasure. And, uh, <laughs> it's great, man. Okay, so let's t- tell me about this. Uh, you guys just recently uh, signed a deal with Rage on Stage, so tell me about that. Um, well, uh, Spencer, t- to be honest, with, we're still negotiating, right? And well, it's 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 been it's been great. Uh, I mean, we're looking forward for it, and it's something that might uh, bring a lot of opportunities for us. Um, we're also looking forward for a for a tour in the U.S. in the next year. We're also very excited about it. It would be awesome. It would be, and if you come to some place close to me, I will be there. Oh, that's great, man. <laughs> well, you know, because he has uh, he has another Brazilian band, Ecliptica, on his roster, and I know they're coming next summer. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, we we know this band as well. I don't know them personally, but. I, I've seen some stuff from them. They're very good as well. Um, well, uh, there is an opportunity that we maybe uh, could uh, come together to the U.S. in the next year, or maybe not. I don't know exactly what what would happen, but um, both ways would be awesome. <laughs> well, I plan to go to one of their concerts when they come, so that would be awesome if you were with them. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> okay, so what's going on with the band right now? What are you guys up to? Besides well, that, um, <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, Spencer, we, we we're starting all over again because um, we had a, a previous CD released, but the band had another name. So we were recently had changed the name, and we have rec- recorded another album, and well, we're starting all over again, and, and we haven't played. Um, since like six or seven months so we were doing a, a release show on the next week and from from the next week on we don't know what will happen I mean this show will will, will, will be the the start of the of the things of the real thing you know we're very, very excited about it we're planning to do a first uh, a small tour in the state of, of Sao Paulo, in the, in the surroundings of Sao Paulo City, right? And afterwards, in the entire country. And then in the next year, of course, and everything goes right. We got going to the U.S. So we're starting out all over again, and we're really excited about everything we're, we're doing. We're, we're, we are receiving a lot of good feedback from our... our our new CD, so everything's going pretty, pretty well at the moment. Very cool. Just so you know, too, the Tuesday night when I play back the interview, I'll be playing the entire album after. Oh, that's great, man. <laughs> that's I, great. I ho- hope everyone likes it. Yes. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I've been playing. I've been playing back of your head a lot. And <laughs> And ev- it's awesome, everybody is like, man, where'd, where'd you find this band? These guys are killer. I'm like, yeah, yeah I know. They're from Brazil. They rock. <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. Well, we, we have been working a lot, and this this album, we, we have been working on it since from, like, almost two years, like, writing all of the songs and, and all the procedures that I don't know. Everyone who is a musician or who has a band might have an idea of, of what is to, to record an album and how hard it, 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 it is, you know. So and everything comes like from deep within, you know. Right. <laughs> we just uh, we just put out uh, the songs like we we didn't want to be attached to any uh, like gender or any stuff we just put out what what we we were feeling at the moment and we were really happy that uh, that uh, the most of the people are are liking our stuff you know it's it's been great 
Yeah. So what what's the creative process for you guys for writing music? Is there one person that kind of writes everything, or do you guys does everybody kind of participate? How do you guys go about that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, basically, uh, I, I I write all of the, the lyrics, and but <laughs> usually the lyrics are the the last part of it. Like I I. Me and uh, the guitarist Alex, basically, both of us, we we gathered and start like playing stuff, and then we we write it usually on the uh, on the computer on, on softwares, um, music softwares. You know, we write some riffs and some. And, and then when, when we have some idea of, of the song, we show to the other guys with the band and they, they come up with other ideas. And then after everything's ready and after I, I, I'm feeling what the, the song is about, you know, because it's, um, it's not just the lyrics that um, give the song a meaning, you know. For me, the song, the song itself, the music itself has sometimes a... A meaning, you know, and then when when I'm feeling this meaning, I, um, I sit down and, and put out the lyrics. So basically, that's how it it usually works. <laughs> okay. So how long have you guys? I, I know you, did, you you said you guys you mentioned you guys have changed the name of the band. How long have you guys been together as a group, though? Well, um, we we are friends from well. Um, approximately ten years. You know, uh, before we, we we actually started the band, we we had uh, like three bit bands together, and and but the band itself it it started five years ago. Okay. With me with me and Alex, we we came up with four songs for a. A demo, and then that was it. And then the other guys joined the band. At the start of the band, it was just um, me and and the guitarist Alex. It was just two of us, and we recorded all of the stuff alone in order to to find the other guys. And then th- those other guys ended up being our friends as well. The, the people who played, who we used to play together in this other three with bands and stuff like that so <laughs> alright that's good that's good what you know what before I forget can you go ahead and because it's you, just you can you mention the other members of the band and what their spots are oh sure um, well um, there is Marcelo Marcelo Campos which is the, the drummer and Rafa Rafa Palmciano which is the Bassist <laughs> and the guitarists are Alex and Fabrizio Fabrizio Modesto <laughs> and my name is Diego. I'm the vocalist Diego Prado. We we don't have <laughs> our names are all Latin names, so <laughs> <laughs> you may you may find it <laughs> hard to, to spell it or so. But basically, <laughs> this is it. There's nothing we can do about it. That's that's our names. <laughs> no, that's dude. That's that's all good because I I I do a lot of interviews, but most of my interviews I I do are you're probably like the sixth or seventh band from Brazil I've talked to. Oh, um, that's good. So I've talked to a lot of I talked to bands in Brazil. I talked to bands in Portugal. Um, I talked to a lot of bands in Europe. So I'm pretty much. You know, at first it was hard for me to try to pronounce people's names, and and even at first it was a little even tough to understand people. But now uh-huh. it's just like, it you know, it's English. I can I can I can hear th- I can I can I can I can get everything through the accent. So it's it's awesome. Uh, that's good. <laughs> yep. What um? Oh, one other thing. I I keep thinking of things I want to say. I want to thank the guys from the band Ancestral, because if it wasn't for those guys, I would never have heard of you, and I would not be <laughs> talking to you right now. Oh, that's great, man. You know, we, we are, they're, they're really,
really close to us. They're they're really our friends. You know, we're we're always together, and they are helping us a lot. When we started the, the thing, uh, when, when we started everything, we we knew ancestral already. They are like uh, the the old school ones, you know. Right. <laughs> they are the the. They're res- respected here in Brazil. They were respected even before we started everything, and and they and they just came up to us and and they liked liked us from the first time they they, they heard. So and from now on they they're together with us. They're helping us and and well, I, I don't have words to, to thank all of all. Of the guys from Ancestral to, to everything that he, they have been been doing for us, they're they're helping us a lot, and it, it's good to know that we're we're not alone because you know for an independent band, all all friends that we have, all partnerships that we have, it, it, it's really important, man. So we're really happy to have Ancestral with us. They're they're also a really amazing band. We have been uh, we, well, we played together a couple of times and. And it was amazing. So, yeah, they did. They're really great. Yeah, I've been playing their music on my radio shows for three years. <laughs> it's great. So, yeah, that's awesome. And you know, I tell you, that's what I love about metal so much. It just seems like bands. There's such a commod. I can see. I can barely even speak English, dude. There's such a band. Seem to to bond together and, and help each other and you know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah, sure. That, that's, that's great because, you, you know, um, for, mostly for, for people who play heavy music, it's, it's been a hard time, you know, talking about the industry itself because it's hard to sell music, it's hard to sell CDs, it's hard to do everything, it's hard to find a management, to find partners, and everything. So if the bands don't uh, don't put together, you know, that don't gather, things would be much harder. And it's good to know that that the bands are there are a lot of bands that are friends and like to do things together. To you know, it's good to have uh, friends and partners and, and that that kind of partners, you know, it's, it's good, good to know. Right. No. And yeah. And I love it as a DJ because I, you know, I can talk to one band and we are, we are, almost every band I talk to, we have another band in common. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here, here in Brazil, that happens a lot. We, we have a lot of, of, of bands that are our friends. It's, it's great. Okay. So, I'm going to talk about the album now. Now, the album cover, I love it. Who designed that? <laughs> well, uh, it was our drummer, Marcelo. He is also a designer, Marcelo Campos. He's a, a great designer. We we're lucky to have him as a drummer, but we we are also lucky, lucky to have him in the band as a designer, you know, because he, he does all of our artwork. He, he did uh, the first album cover. He, he also does like the, the, the folders, flyers, the, our website, and everything. It's on him, <laughs> so it's great. He's, he's a really great artist and also a really great drummer, and we're happy to, to have have him with us. Speaking of stuff, did I post the uh, flyer for this on your Facebook? Do you remember? I think maybe Scott did. <laughs> you sent me the flyer. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you sent me. I'll just go ahead and, and post it later on today. Oh, yeah. Don't don't worry. Don't worry. I'll be spamming Facebook later too. Uh, <laughs> okay. So we're, we're both will be spamming. <laughs> Pretty much any metal site, any any metal site that I know of that's in the metal scene, I, I post these interviews and stuff. So, oh, that's great. Anything to get the word out, you know. Yeah, yeah. What um? Where'd you guys record the album at? Well, um, we were also 
lucky to find a guy here in Brazil, which is, uh, well, uh, I don't think he's well known in, in the US or in Europe, but he's becoming a well known here in Brazil. Um, because he's working with the bands, with, with the new bands, you know, with the, with all of the, of the good new bands that are appearing here in Brazil. He's, he's the guy that, that's, that's making everything because, uh, he's a really well talented guy. His name is Adair, Adair Dalfenbach. And, well, I, I could spell this later for you. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> and, but well, he he's the guy um, that started. I, I don't know if you if you know the band Hangar Hangar here in Brazil. Hangar. I, I do not. You'll need to send me that oh. later. By the way. Okay, sure. Well, there are a lot of, of well known bands here in Brazil that he has worked with, and he also has. Uh, there is uh, this band uh, Hangar. They, they they went together to Germany. To record their CD with with Tommy Newton, you know Tommy Newton. Tommy Newton is the producer that has recorded the, the first Halloween CDs, the, the, okay. the classic Keeper of the Seven Keys. And, yep. and uh, yeah, he's a, a well-known producer in Germany, and Adair has uh, worked with him for a while, for for a, a year or so, and has brought all of his experience here to Brazil. And well, he's, he's a really well talented guy, and he he had um, he was actually not from from São Paulo. He he was from the south of Brazil, and then he moved to São Paulo uh, just at the time that we were starting to think about recording our our CD. So we we met him and and actually helped him to to build its. His, his studio, you know, <laughs> and then we recorded the CD, and it, it was great. He's a, a really well talented guy. He's a really uh, good producer, and we are also very happy to have him with us. Yeah, I think he did a great job. It sounds extremely professional to me. So, yeah, he, he's he's doing a lot of of great great stuff here. So. So what do you th- what do you th- what's your take and view on speaking of, you know, you mentioned how he's doing the newer bands and everything. What 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 do you think about this the whole change in the music industry as a whole? You know, trying to get a label obviously is it's crazy hard, and yeah, um, and the whole industry is just changing. I mean, you you know, back in the eighties and nineties, if you got a record deal, you just like it was like instant like rich rich dumb, you know? Yeah, and now they, labels. And now labels, you barely even make any money doing it. So, uh, just what's your take on the whole thing? Yeah. Well, that's a good question, man. <laughs> because things are, are getting a lot different now, you know. Uh, but I, I used to be more, um, like, pessimist about it. Because I used to think, oh, nobody will, will sell CDs anymore. And things are, are you know, all screwed up but now uh, uh, I'm seeing the all of the industry and, and all the things that are happening in the industry as as a new thing you know I think that that, that a new thing it's 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 starting to happen you know because bands now don't make uh, money off with CDs but they do make money with tour and and you know, merchandise and everything. So, right. The, the, we just need to, to start seeing things from a different point of view. You know, yep. because uh, things may be not good as they were in the nineties or the eighties, but uh, we we need to, to see the things from the point of view that we are in two thousand eleven and everything's different now. And so we need to, to focus on on doing something different to attract. This all this, this business, you know. So, just need to to, to be different. And right. Basically, uh, I think that's that's it, man. No, and I agree. You, you, 
you know things have changed a ton, and you have to be able to adapt. If you can't adapt well, then you're not gonna you're not gonna exist. Yeah, and and basically there are another thing because nowadays uh, people don't make music if they don't love what they doing what they're doing because uh, they don't know that, uh, they don't know if, if they will be able to make money uh, from from that. So money is is not the thing anymore. I think that the, the love on, on what people are, are doing is what what's really important now because um, so most of the bands, most of the of the new bands, they they, they don't make money. Uh, they don't make uh, some, a lot of money at, at the start, you know. Right. And so, if they don't love what what they're doing, they they wouldn't be doing what they're doing, and that's our case as well. It's, the, the love of what we're doing is, is what makes us move forward and, and keep doing it. No, and I and I can definitely agree with that and back it up because it, every band I talk to tells me the same thing. They're like, you know what, we do this because we love it. We don't, you know, if, if if we were doing this to make money, we would have quit a long time ago. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I, what, I, what I say to myself every day. <laughs> it's... I, I love what, what I'm doing, and uh, I also love my band friends. You know, we we want to do something good. We want to do something something different. We don't want to, to go to a stage to, to do a, a bad show or, or to or to record a, a, a CD that we, we don't think it's good enough. We want to do good things, but the most important here is the love on, on what we're doing. Very cool, man. Okay, so plug time though. Where can, if people want to buy a physical CD or download MP3s, where can they buy the album at? Yeah, and actually, uh, the album is is, is on, on iTunes. And actually, the physical uh, CDs will be available uh, on the next week. So. We, we will do this release show on the next week. Right. And and, and for now, from then on, we, we will start to selling the, the physical copies. And we're not sure on how we we will sell it abroad, you know, outside of Brazil. But we will certainly find a, find a way to do it. Um, and to download as well, uh, there we haven't... Put the CD to download. Uh, we, we want to do it because we know that download moves everything now, uh, nowadays. Right. It's it's not uh, correct to say, oh, I don't want you to download my song. Uh, oh, people would say to me, well, then <laughs> screw you. I'll, I'll download it anyways because I can do it. So there, there's nothing we can do about it. And we want to, as I told you before, uh, we want to, we need to see it from a different point of view. We need to see it that people uh, don't buy our music, but they're downloading it and they're spreading it. You know, so we want to. We want also people to download our songs. We, of course, we want people to buy our physical copies and and to buy our songs on iTunes. But if we, if you want to download our songs, you can feel free for that. If you like it, if you want to spread it out, for me, it's perfect. You can do it whatever you want. Right, right. Well, and, and that's good. And I still, though, to everybody who listens to this, I would encourage you if you really, if you know, if you listen to it on this on my show and you like it, go buy it. Help the band, support the guys. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's what we we expect from our our really fans to do it. You know, when we when we play our shows, then we put out all of our CDs to on sale on the venue you know and people go there and buy and buy our t-shirts and and, and that's it but we, we, we there's nothing we can do about the download itself but that's true if you if you really like us if you really uh, like our songs so you could help us a lot by buying our stuff exactly all that equipment and all that time is not free you know <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I do know. <laughs> hey, uh, speaking of, of the, the physical copy, 
please let me know when it's available because I want to buy a physical copy, okay? Oh, that's great. Um, okay, I'll let you know. We'll, we'll certainly find a way. If we don't find any uh, distribution in the U.S., we'll certainly find another way to to sell our physical copies there. And I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. All right. The, the only request I have is when I when I buy it that you guys sign it for me. Oh, of course, man. <laughs> and, and not because I'm like, oh my god, when they get big someday, I'm going to sell it. No, I just I like I just I like <laughs> that I like that personal touch. I interviewed a band a couple weeks ago, and they sent me a CD, and they, the whole band signed the cover. I just think that's awesome. Oh, that's great, man. Well, we'll certainly do it as well. As soon as we have it, we'll we'll, we'll let you know. Okay, very cool. So if I was the, if I was to to grab your MP3 player, your CD player, or however you listen to music, what kind of what would I find you listening to? Um, that's a good question, man. Because I I, I do listen to a lot of things. Um, for you to have an idea, I like um, I like I like a lot of old stuff, and not uh, like old school heavy metal. Um, I like classic rock. I like uh, grunge. I, I like hard rock. I like a lot of things, and th- this is funny because everyone in the band has a different taste to to, to music. So there is Alex. Um, he likes heavier stuff. He likes metalcore and hardcore and and scream and <laughs> things like that. And there is Marcelo which is the drummer and, and the designer. <laughs> and he likes also uh, old stuff. Um, and me, well, let me see. Let me think of, on what is on my <laughs> iPod right now. Um, well, <laughs> I have Machine Hat <laughs> and I have Def Leppard. <laughs> That's cool. So <laughs> so from, from this, you can have an idea that I, I listen to from Def Leppard to Machine Hat. <laughs> That's awesome. I, 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 I well, I really appreciate that because I listen to a wide variety, a wide variety of music myself. I like to listen to, I like to listen to metal. I like to listen to. My wife loves country. I get sucked into country sometimes. I like rock. I like classical music. Pretty much like everything. So yeah, I don't. I'm one of these people. I don't get. You're never gonna. You would never find me like saying, oh. You listen to that genre of music? Why? You know what? I don't care what genre of music something falls in. If I like it, I like it. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, th- there is us mostly. I don't know here. I don't know how is how is it here in well there in the U.S. But here in Brazil, we have a lot of really bad music, man. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I don't know if you know, the, the, like the popular music here in Brazil is. is a totally a total shit man. it's just uh, like disgusting it's <laughs> and to, I, I only have like uh, can I I don't know if it's right to say prejudice but, but I only have prejudice to those kind of, of music because to, to this kind of music because it's it's really <laughs> it's really bad <laughs> yeah no there's a there's a lot of uh, crappy music here too <laughs> there's a lot okay but but apart from that, uh, I listen to everything, and, and I don't, I don't have prejudice of, of any any musical genre. Or uh, I do, I, I myself listen to, me, to, to many of the different things. Not not only in, in metal and, and rock, and I like jazz a lot. I like uh, classical music a lot. So I, I like uh, like pop music from the eighties as well, from the nineties, like. Some some bands, not not only rock bands, but, and then that's it. I, I like a lot of music, man. Very cool, very cool. What um, how'd you guys name the band? How'd you guys pick the name? Well, <laughs> and as I as I told you before, we, we have changed names, right? Right. And the previous the previous name, I, I, don't, I don't know if you know it, but it was uh, Ace Ace for Trace. It was like, um, well, Ace, the word Ace, the card Ace, right. the number four, number four, and the word Trace. But uh, 
we we have received some some advice from our producers and from our fans um, from all over the world that this name might not be catchy enough and this name might not be uh, well accepted uh, outside of our country so uh, as we always want to do something outside of Brazil we really consider all of the all of this um, advice we we received and we, we found out that this 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 name was was wasn't helping us a lot you know so we set up together just before the release of our second city just before the release of Peter Peter Street we set up with our producer and discussed that and we decided to change the names to Trace which for us um, is basically the union of, of the two words of the word Ace and the word Trace right? and we gather it together and it becomes Trace that's cool and, that, and that's it <laughs> what's the uh What's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you guys when you've been doing a show? <laughs> well, there there are a lot of crazy people here in Brazil, and we have a uh, there is a band that here in Brazil is called Red Front. I don't know if you heard about it, but I'll, I'll send you later. And they they're crazy, and we we did a show together once in a, and it was a. A show, and uh, <laughs> how can I say it? It's just a really strange, strange place, and a really strange people. <laughs> and it was a really well bad sounding and bad equipment, bad everything. So basically, and we sat up and looked at all, all of that, and we say, well, what we're going to do now? <laughs> and they opened up their car and there was a lot of beer and vodka and, and everything there <laughs> so <laughs> we just we just got a lot of drunk <laughs> uh, drunk enough not not to be able to do the show properly <laughs> <laughs> and, and and by the time of uh, at show time well there were like 30 or 35 people there at the venue at the time and everyone was as drunk as we were so we those guys from Red Front they they just started the show in underpants nice <laughs> yeah. and and then they they told us well we're doing so you're playing you're playing the next and you're going to do it and so it we did it as well. <laughs> so it, it it was fun. It, it was some something. <laughs> well, it, it, it was nice because the, the, this day particularly, it it had everything to be like the worst show and the worst day of our lives, and then we just revert reverted this this situation by having fun and then laughing and drinking it. It oh, that's, cool. I love it. That's awesome. You're able to take a bad situation and make it a party. <laughs> yeah. That's very cool. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that, by the way. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. Anything else you want the world to know about Trace? Anything else we haven't talked about? <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, the thing that I want most <laughs> is the world to know Trace. <laughs> You know, because uh, I know things are, are hard right now, but that doesn't mean that there are a lot of people who is committed on doing uh, a good music, on doing good shows, and on doing uh, and on like working hard to to get a CD, working hard to, to do a good show, and working hard for everything you know and 
and that's our case, man. We we really love what we do, and we work hard because we believe on what we do. And my my, my message to the people is that not only talking about trace, but talking about every band you you like, every band you listen, and you well, I never heard about this band, but it sounds cool. It sounds pretty good. So go ahead and, and search for this band and listen to the other songs, look for their videos, look for their material, and really support this band because there are a lot of good things, a lot of good bands and that you might never heard of, might have never heard of, but that really do, uh, that really work hard, that really love what they're doing because they really believe in what they're doing and and that's it. And and this me too, man. It was a it was a pleasure. It's it's really great. Uh, thank you very much for the the opportunity. And and well, we you, you can count on us and on everything, man. It was great, and we really appreciate it. Not a problem. I love, like I said, I love your music, and I'll be playing it like I have been for quite a while now, and I'll be promoting it. So that's that's what we do. That's great, man. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So, okay. Well, you have a great. I guess it's evening for you now. So have a great evening and uh, <laughs> take care. Okay, you too, man. All right. Take care. Yep. Bye bye. Goodbye. <laughs>